Hurricane Nicole was the first major hurricane to directly impact Bermuda since Hurricane Fabian in 2003. Nicole formed in the central Atlantic on October 4. The small, slow, moving storm defied forecasts, by steadily organizing in spite of strong wind shear, and it rapidly intensified to a Category 2 hurricane on October 7. The wind shear finally took its toll by October 8, reducing Nicole to a minimal tropical storm, but intensification began once again, as the storm retreated towards Bermuda, and Nicole reached its peak intensity early on October 13 as a Category 4 hurricane with 140 miles per hour winds. The storm's approach to Bermuda forced schools, businesses, and government offices to close, while flight, bus, and ferry services were interrupted. Hurricane Nicole caused property damage about $15 million. Areas most affected by the storm were, Bermuda and North Atlantic coastlines. The storm, with an eye about 48 kilometers across, weakened after moving back into the open sea, and was downgraded to a Category 2 hurricane. Hurricane Matthew was an extremely destructive and long-lived tropical cyclone, which became the first Category 5 Atlantic hurricane since Hurricane Felix in 2007. Matthew wrought widespread destruction and catastrophic loss of life during its journey across the Western Atlantic, including parts of Haiti, Cuba, Dominican Republic, the Lucan Archipelago, the southeastern United States, and the Canadian Maritimes. Between 603 and 1,657 estimated deaths have been attributed to the storm, making it the deadliest Atlantic hurricane since Hurricane Stan in 2005, which killed more than 1,600 in Central America and Mexico. The storm causing damages estimated in excess of $15 billion, it was also the costliest Atlantic hurricane since Hurricane Sandy in 2012, as well as the ninth costliest Atlantic hurricane in history. Originating from a tropical wave that emerged off Africa on September 22, Matthew developed into a tropical storm, 35 miles southeast of St. Lucia on September 28, after which it underwent explosive intensification as it tracked across the Caribbean Sea. Matthew became a hurricane 190 miles northeast of Curacao on September 29, and ultimately reached Category 5 intensity. Hurricane Katrina was the costliest natural disaster, and one of the five deadliest hurricanes in the history of the United States. Overall, at least 1,245 people died in the hurricane and subsequent floods, making it the deadliest United States hurricane. Total property damage was estimated at $108 billion roughly four times the damage wrought by Hurricane Andrew in 1992 in the United States. Katrina originated over the Bahamas on August 23 from the interaction between a tropical wave and the remnants of Tropical Depression 10. The cyclone headed generally westward toward Florida, and strengthened into a hurricane only two hours before, making landfall at Hallandale Beach and Aventura on August 25. The storm strengthened to a Category 5 hurricane over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. The storm caused severe destruction along the Gulf Coast from central Florida to Texas, much of it due to the storm surge and levee failure.
Hurricane Sandy, unofficially referred to as Superstorm Sandy, was the deadliest and most destructive hurricane of the 2012 Atlantic hurricane season, and the second costliest hurricane in United States history. Sandy was a Category 3 storm at its peak intensity, when it made landfall in Dubai. Estimates as of 2015 assess damage to have been about $75 billion, a total surpassed only by Hurricane Katrina. At least 233 people were killed along the path of the storm in eight countries. In the United States, Hurricane Sandy affected 24 states, including the entire eastern seaboard from Florida to Maine and West. Hurricane Patricia was the second most intense tropical cyclone on record, worldwide, behind Typhoon Tip in 1979. Patricia grew from a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane in just 24 hours a near record pace. On October 23, the hurricane achieved its record peak intensity with maximum sustained winds of 215 miles per hour. The precursor to Patricia produced widespread flooding rains in Central America. Hundreds of thousands of people were directly affected by the storm, mostly in Guatemala. At least six fatalities were attributed to the event. Torrential rains extended into southeastern Mexico, with areas of Quintana Roo and Veracruz reporting accumulations in excess of 19.7 in 500 mm. Damage in Chetumal reached $84.1 million.